Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I have the finale and the intro to a new round of hashtag beauty chest which if you don't know what that is i will link everything you need to know down below um, as well as the creator jessica she is here on youtube as makeup misfit and i would highly suggest you checking out her channel because she does this project as well and a lot of other projects so it's very fun to watch i made the mistake last update that i thought i had one more month to um, work on my pro uh, projects. Products. I was supposed to film the finale then, instead of now. So <laughs> I've given myself an extra month. Uh, it wasn't the best month, but still. <laughs> I'm just gonna um, go through my um, prompts and my products, and then we are gonna do a complete refresh for the intro of the new round of this project. So if you want to see how I did, then um, keep watching, I have my products here. They were all eyeshadows, which rolling them in, my, I was like, I'm probably gonna fail to do this and hit my goals in one month, but it's fine. So the first one, and I believe, I'm just looking at my notes, I'm sorry. I believe this was in since last um, update, so we've had it in for two months. This is my I Heart Revolution e.l.f. palette. This was in for the prom Get Ready, Ready With Me, which it was an out of season um, product. So I picked my um, Christmas themed eyeshadow palette because it's not Christmas yet. Um, and I wanted to hit pan in any of the eyeshadows didn't really matter which one. Um, I ended up going for this purpley silver. I don't know what you would call that. That one. And as you can see, I managed to hip pan in that. So this has taken me a total of six uses to hip pan. I had already a little bit of usage on that shadow, so that's why six um, six uses for hitting pan. Um, and I know everything is rolling out this update, but this is a prompt completed, so that's nice. Then for the prompt birthday gift, a mini, I rolled in the Shrek X Revolution um, Puss in Boots eyeshadow palette to use no pan left behind, so use every shadow at least once, and create five looks, and I filled miserably at this one. Um, I've used it a total of four times. I I'm pretty sure I did not use all of the eyeshadows. I did use these three mattes. I've been mainly using that one as an inner corner highlight. And then I think I touched the gold. So I had three uh, eyeshadows left that I should have used and I did not do five looks with this. Maybe I did five times where I put that light shade in my inner corner but that doesn't really count as a look now does it so uh anyway that's rolling out so i did not complete that goal but that's okay and then for the prompt surprise sale um these two prompts coming up i rolled in last update so they have been in for one month surprise sale something shiny i rolled in a purple oh gosh oh it is going everywhere. A purple shimmer eyeshadow from Glam Shop. And this is what it looks like. This comes out of the Glam Shop Remix palette. I depotted that. Um, and I wanted to hit pan. I did not hit pan on this. Um, I did use it five times out ever. So you can see, you can see a slight dip, but no pan, but that's okay. We're rolling it out. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna continue to work on this eyeshadow maybe in another project or just on my own to hit pan because I still have a few pans to uh, hit to hit my 75 pans this year goal so okay and then the last prompt was no makeup makeup uh, something that's almost finished um, mine was not quite finished but I rolled in an eyeshadow that I knew was gonna be easy to hit pan on 
Uh, and I rolled in an eyeshadow from my Beauty Bay Love Notes palette. And I chose the shade Pillow, which I had been using before. And I had to use three more times to hit pan. So I, I really was very close to hitting pan. So that's another pan and that's another prompt complete. Even though everything is rolling out anyway. But uh, that's it for my projects that I had in. That was it for round one. We are going to go and roll new prompts for round two. Now, I have been rolling quite a few of the same prompts this year, which isn't bad. That's okay. But I hope that this year, this round, is going to bring me some new prompts that I haven't had yet. Uh, there's enough to choose from, so cross your fingers. Uh, let's see what we have. Maybe I should do screen recordings. But um, okay, first one is affiliate codes. Another beauty YouTuber, Panners Pan Inspired. Okay, so something that is inspired by another beauty YouTuber. I have had this prompt, but it's been a while. So again, it's fine. Then new palette release, add any palette. Okay, um, so do we add, is it like an extra prompt? I don't think so. We're just gonna have to work on a palette, I guess. Then the next one is all matte palette. Add two mattes. Okay. Okay. So great. Um, yeah. And then we have no makeup makeup almost finished. Okay. So I have two prompts that I have not had yet which is giving me right away an extra product to work on and two that I have had, which is okay. So I'm gonna think about what I wanna roll in and I will be right back. All right, I figured it out. I almost rolled in all eyeshadows. Let's see, for the prompt affiliate codes, something inspired by another beauty YouTuber. Now this one maybe is a stretch, but I recently watched a video of Sophie Alexandra who created um, Project Level Up, which is an amazing project. And also she's very good at panning eyeshadows and does amazing looks. So if you don't know her, go check her out. Um, I heard her talk about, I think it was a video about her favorite palettes and this palette was quite high on her list. If I remember correctly, I may be completely wrong. Maybe it was another reason that she talked about this palette, but I have not used this palette this year at all. So I decided that for her, I'm gonna roll in um, this palette. This is what it looks like. This by the way is from ColourPop. Um, this is what it looks like if it wants to focus. There we go. So this is a mainly green palette with your row of neutrals. And I do have two pans in there. I mean, that one is a very weird tiny pan. Um, and I have a pan this. Uh, but I haven't used this palette at all this year and I really want to. So. We are gonna do no pan left behind, so use each shadow at least once. Um, I'm not gonna put any more goals on it, not like looks or whatever, it's just use these shadows at least once. And that's it. So that's the first one. Then for the problem, new palette release, add a palette. I'm gonna add this one back in because we failed at the last uh, attempt. I'm gonna put it back in for no pan left behind. We're gonna skip the looks. We're just gonna do a no pan left behind, which shouldn't be too hard. 
but I don't know. Um, yeah. We're gonna do that. Then for the prompt, all matte palette, add two mattes. Maybe I could have gone for a different matte product, but I went with eyeshadows. So I'm again bringing in my Ari Heart Revolution Elf palette. And we're gonna work on shade number 11, which is this one. It's the easy way out. It is a matte. Uh, I can use it to set my um, eyeshadow base. It's a little bit dark, but I'll be fine. So I want to hit pan on that matte. And then I also am gonna roll in the Shrek X Revolution Fairy Godmother palette. This was my Project Level Up Level 3 palette. So I have three pans in here already. And I am gonna roll in this matte shade right here called Happiness, uh, which is a light mauve pink. And I think this will be very nice for the um, colder months to come to do more cool toned eye looks. So I also wanna hit pan on that. And then for the last prompt, the no makeup makeup, something that's almost finished. I was gonna do an eyeshadow, but I didn't. I am gonna roll in my Revolution Pressed Powder. Not to finish, hold your horses, <laughs> not to finish. Uh, this is what mine looks like. It is just your standard translucent um, setting powder. I hate this packaging, it's so stupid. It doesn't <laughs> stay close, there's like a little sponge here it's just it makes no sense so i eventually want to work this out of my collection um for now that's going to be a very big goal to um get to to finish this so i'm going to try and uncover like this square right here which i'm thinking is the same size as the middle square so we will have not too much product around here um if this proves to be too easy like it could be too easy i don't know then i might um continue to work on uncovering another one of these squares but we shall see for now i'm saying try and un uncover uncover <laughs> this square right here so use up like this much product um it is a little thinned out, but around the edge it is like the same amount that we started with. So it could take me a while, I'm not really sure. So I'm rolling this one in for that prompt. And then we have all. These are all the new products. These are all the new prompts for round number two. We are starting this off strong with almost all eyeshadows. I have no idea what is to come for me, but I'm excited. I really like this project. I just can't wait to see what's gonna happen. So, um, again, everything you need to know is linked down below. If you wanna join us, feel free to do so because it's fun. And that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will hopefully see you in one of my next videos thank you so much for watching bye